Hello and welcome to Rebels Radio latest interview. I'm joined by Slough Joint Manager Neil Baker. Uh, we're reflecting on yesterday's defeat, 4-0 at home to Paul. What are your thoughts, Neil? Yeah, disappointing day, really. Um, we, we weren't at the races, uh, you know, especially first half. Um, we were disappointed. Listen, you know, we're going to take nothing away from Paul. Paul um, have been the best side that we've come across all season. They were strong, they were pre- professional, um, they passed the ball well, they worked hard. Um, and they looked a threat, you know, every time they went forward. Um, what I felt disappointed by was was how easy we gave the ball back to them. Our, our ball retention was pretty poor um, throughout the first forty five minutes. Forty five minutes, especially, we we sort of uh, said that the lads were rushing um, and and say so giving the ball back to Paul, and and they were hurting us, and um, we just didn't really ever settle. I think you know after the first five ten minutes. Myself and Amanda sort of said we hadn't settled and, you know, we'd, we'd sort of hope that we'd, we'd sort of grow into the game, but we just didn't do that. And, um, you know, two, two, uh, two poor goals from our point of view. Um, the first one, we'd, we'd, um, we'd obviously given Tom Moran a job of, of sitting on the number 10, um, Brooks, and uh, unfortunately he'd lost his man and, uh, you know, he, he ended up scoring the goal. And then the second uh, believe was um, uh, you know obviously guy got guy got caught and uh, the lad got inside him in reality probably should have taken him down and, and, and taken a booking um, you know but that's obviously hindsight um, and yeah so you know to go two goals two goals down we, we, we sort of defended relatively poorly and then obviously the third was a killer right on the stroke of half time um, you know we're, we're led to believe obviously we'll wait to see the video and whether or not that sort of shows up but you know by all accounts everyone was saying it was outside the box and, and to be honest we, we didn't even think it was going to be a penalty um, if I'm honest guys guys quite an intelligent footballer and and we felt that if he was going to be bringing the lad down then then he would have done it outside the box you know I don't think he would have made that sloppy t- tackle in the box so um, as far as we're concerned it, it was probably outside the box and you know I spoke to the referee at half time and you know his view was that he caught him in the box, um, so we'll, we'll see on the video. But you know that masks um, a poor first forty-five minutes from us. I felt you know Johnny Dyer was probably the only one who worked you know really really hard in the first half. Uh, we haven't had a lot of joy, but you know he put in put in good effort. And, and you know at three 0 the game's you know the game's done. You know you only have to look at the fact that they've only conceded fifteen goals all season, which is an absolutely incredible record. And you can see why um, we, we we say at half time you've just got to try and try and go out there and try and compete and, and not get not go the other way and, and do what we did against Redditch and lose you know six or seven and you know we went out second half and we gave it a bit of a go but we didn't really cause them too many problems and you know they probably could have had a few few more um, goals if I'm honest and you know there was there was a, a, a big difference between the two sides yesterday which was disappointing I do believe that. You know, to, to compete with those sides, we need a full strength squad, and and we weren't there. You, you know, we had we had five captains, you know, sitting out yesterday in in Ryan Parsons, Jamie McClurg, Adrian Sear, um, Ben Edwards, and and obviously Alan Fowles is not quite quite ready. So, you know, that's uh, some uh, big players missing for us there, and obviously you had in Warren Harris as well. So, you know, it is an excuse, I guess, but. Um, you know, for us to be able to compete at, at that level, you know, we, we need we need a, especially against those sides, we need a strong squad, and and I felt that we were probably lacking in that yesterday. So, are there any specific measures you're going to take after that? Obviously, you said you underperformed Paul. You didn't necessarily challenge. They didn't really have to come out of second, third gear, did they? Yeah. No, they didn't. And 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 to be honest, you know, we're not going to. You know, our season isn't defined by how we do against Paul Paul Town. You know, they that for me, they will win the league. You know, they they've. I know that they've sort of had a bit of a wobble recently, but you can see why they're why they're so good. You know, they've got some very good players, and they're just so strong defensively. They just don't give you a chance. And I'd, we'd sort of said that to the front boys today. You know, you might be sort of working on scraps today, and 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 they were. But yeah, I mean, you know, it's it's one of those one of those days. You just have to put it behind you and and look to go against Biddeford. I mean, I think there's a few people that sort of mention all you know. Could we not bring more players in and, and things like that? I mean, 
the prob problem you have is we were going into yesterday's game with, with Ryan, Ben and um, Searsy and they were all sort of 50-50 and we were hoping one, two or even three might be available and in the end none of them were and it's very difficult to sort of bring in players not knowing whether actually you're going to need them and, and also you know you have budgets and, and whatever else and and I think also with, with loan players I know people have talked about loan players I know um, Paul have a, have a good relationship with Bournemouth but the players that they bring in they tend to bring in for the, for the season you know they're not they're not sort of like your one month loans and, and things like that and and it's not how we want as a club how we want to really you know sort of build our teams you know we don't want to build a side with with a lone player for a season and, and things like that so and and the problem is is if you are looking to bring a player in on loan they want to you know they they want that player to play and they want them to be there for a month and it just becomes very very difficult to manage in in that respect and and uh, I mean, I'm not saying that we won't do it because we, we do have the links to be able to do it. But at times it's right and times it's not right. And I don't think when, when you've got three or four players that are maybe a week away from fitness, it's, uh, it's worth, worth doing, if I'm honest. So where does it leave you for the week ahead? Obviously, a long trip down to the North Devon coast next weekend for a, a, a tough away fixture. Benefit have found a little bit of form themselves recently. Um, what are you doing this week? Yeah, we'll be training. We'll be training hard, and um, you know we'll be working on 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 going to Biddeford to get three points. Um, as you say, they've picked up quite a bit recently. They've had some good results, and uh, you know it's a tough journey. It's a, you know um, one of our longest journeys. Obviously, other than, other than the Truro game, it's the longest um, journey in the league um, in in this league. So, so we'll you know we'll we'll train this week. We'll we'll get the coach down to Biddeford on on Saturday morning and. And we'll go and give it a good go. As I say, hopefully we should have Ben Edwards, Ryan Parsons and Adrian Sear all fit and available, um, ready for the you know, ready to come back into the squad. And then all of a sudden, you know, you you start to have a few more options and you start to feel a little bit stronger. As I say, you know, we, we looked at the bench yesterday and and it, it, it is, you know, it's it's difficult, you know, because we, we had one or two on there that were sitting there that were probably injured and you know, it is what it is at the moment and we just have to try and deal with it and, and sort of move on from there really. And I take it it's all part of the learning process of stepping up into the league. You know, people are talking about mid-table versus potentially trying to push for players and those sorts of things. Where do you feel you are right now? Well, I mean, you know, we're, we're, still, we're still adapting. You know, we're still adapting as a side. Um, it's a tough league. You know, we've, we've just come off the back of eight games where... We've lost twice, and in within those eight games, we've played St. Neots, Hungerford, Chesham, Weymouth, Paul. You know, five of the top top sides in the league, and we've we've lost two of eight of those eight games. And you know, so we're not a million miles off it. We we are going to have days like we did yesterday, whereby things don't quite go right for us, and 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 we have to learn from those, and and sort of learn to deal with with it going forward, you know, and ready, readiness for next season. And, and listen, we're, we're, we're going to try and finish as high as we can. Um, you know, I think the playoffs is probably too, too far away, but you know, listen, we'll, we'll still, we'll still keep, keep working. We'll still put in the same amount of effort we do every week. And, uh, sometimes it'll be enough. Sometimes it won't, but you've got to remember we're a side that got promoted from the playoffs. We finished fifth in the Southern Central last year. It's not like we, we, you know, won the league at a cancer or anything like that. We managed to sneak in through the back door and, and got ourselves promoted. And, and at the moment, you know, we're, we're, we're holding our own in the level above and, and we'll continue to do so. And, and I'm sure we'll just keep improving. And, and if that means we have to look to next season to try and get into the playoffs, then, then so be it. But at the moment, we're, we're just adapting and, and we'll, we'll, we'll see where we go. Well, thank you very much for your time uh, on your busy Sunday. Yeah. Um, we'll look forward to hearing more and following you on your journey next week down to Biddeford. Lovely. Cheers, John. Cheers, Ed.